In this video I want to show you how to use generative components with uh, OpenRail to place slippers as cell along the track. Generative is optional and could be installed, it's delivered with uh, OpenRail. So you can use generative to create a script or use a script to place your slippers. So first I am referencing my design file, my OpenRail design file, here it is. And uh, as an optional workflow, I'm moving my reference to the origin of the file in case I want to create volumes, all building designer knows this uh, kind of workflow. So here I'm just copying my uh, coordinates to set a coordinate system that has an offset. And then I will reference my design with this coordinate system. So it will shift the, the design file to the origin of the file. If you want to change the name of the file, you can use the transaction file. So copy past the, the file name. And then you can undisplay the, the original re reference. And now I've got my design file but the origin of the file, as you can see with the, the origin. <clears throat> so then I will use uh, a range to load my rail, so I set the working area with two points. Again, you can change the, the coordinates if you want, in the points. Uh, then I load the, the rails from 11 in this uh, range. So again, you can change the level name in the script, in the transaction, so you can find it. And I will use Excel as a nice tool to, to set the increment and to, uh, to set the name of the slipper I wanted each increment, so that you can change the slippers along your track. Again, you can change the sheet name, the workbook name, and the range of the cells in the transaction file or also from the from the graph but I would recommend transaction because it won't add any change in your in your transactions. Then there's a little workflow to, to get the orientation of the track plane so to use the count typically. So I'm creating the new coordinate system aligned with the count and he has to to load the, the cell name, then add the slippers that are invisible here, and then move the slippers at the final location, so where I really want the same coordinate system than my, my original design file. And then I export in a, in a model in the same file, so we can change also the model name in the, in the transactions. Then I I've got my, my slippers along my track here in my model. And you can also reference your design file to check everything is good. So again, some different slippers, different distance between slippers along the track. If you want to change something, go back to your Excel file. Here I can set interval to 60 cm. You can change the cell name, I've got a column also to check the, the stationing, save the file, get the number of uh, cells, the range, and just change the range, so again you can do it from the transaction file. Here I must replace 59 by 182. And I have two locations to do this for the slipper increment and the slipper name. Here it is. Of course, it takes a little more time. I just cut the video, of course. But it's easy, quick, and efficient.